Here are the steps to plant a tree, so you can get planting this arbor month. First, gather your materials. You will need tools to dig your hole, two liter plastic bottle, water, grass or dried leaves, compost, and of course, your tree. At Food and Trees for Africa, we plant fruit trees or indigenous shade trees. Select a tree that is suited to your region. Hardy indigenous trees we plant include the river bush willow, the karee tree, the wild olive, the stinkwoods. Select the site for planting your tree. You should plant the tree at least 5 meters away from any infrastructure and space your trees 5 meters apart. The hole should be half a meter deep by half a meter wide to allow enough space for roots to grow. You can estimate a half meter by measuring it against your spade. While you dig, you will need to separate your topsoil from your subsoil. Topsoil is nutrient rich as it has a lot of decaying organic matter such as leaves, bark and grass. Subsoil is less rich and requires a lot more compost. By placing the topsoil at the bottom of your hole, you are giving your tree as much nutrients as possible directly to the roots. Mix your compost with your soil. Compost helps to hold water in the soil near the tree's roots. It also adds some nutrients. Once your hole has been dug, start filling it with your compost topsoil mixture. After filling it about one third, place your tree in the hole to measure if you need to add more soil. Make sure the ground level matches up with the ground level of the tree as shown. Now you are ready to plant the tree. Hold the tree bag and start massaging the roots. This process loosens the bag and allows the bag to be removed easily and gently without disturbing the roots. At Food and Trees for Africa, we try to plant all of our trees with a two liter plastic bottle to help us water the tree. Take your two liter bottle with holes in the bottom and place it in the hole. This will enable the bottle to drip irrigate the roots. Ensure that the lid of the bottle is still in place. This 2 litre bottle will water the tree directly to the roots, especially important in times of water scarcity. Begin filling the hole with more soil, around the roots and plastic bottle. When filling the hole with soil, ensure that the tree is upright as possible. Fill the hole until all the roots are covered. The plastic bottle is covered, but the cap sticks out, and the soil is just below ground level. Once the hole has been filled, Gently stamp or dance around the tree, making a basin to hold water and compressing the soil. Add a layer of dry grass or leaves around the tree. We call this mulch. Mulch helps to retain water. It prevents evaporation and keeps the roots cool in summer and warm in winter, like a blanket. Mulch also prevents weeds from growing around the tree and it decomposes to add another layer of compost or nutrients to the soil. We're almost done. Now it's time to water the tree. Fill the 2 litre plastic bottle with water and also water the entire hole to ensure that the tree is thoroughly watered on this day of planting. Well done! You have successfully planted your tree. Be sure to water it twice a week or when the 2 litre bottle is empty. You can check if you need to water your tree by placing a stick in the 2 litre bottle. If the stick comes out dry, you can fill up the water bottle. You can help us fit our tree planting activities. Visit trees.co.za and make a donation. So, go out there and plant a tree this other month.